Hey, how's it going? And today we're just taking a super quick look at this sleigh animation example sample here. And the first thing you gotta do is just go to the Unreal Marketplace. It's free and you just download it. And once you download it, you'll get this. It'll appear here. It's big. So my suggestion would be after you're done exploring it and maybe exporting some assets in it that you might want, then I would just delete it from your hard drive because it takes up a huge amount of space and it takes quite a while to download. So it's a it's a big project. So I'm gonna press create project and I'll just go ahead and create this. And as soon as it's done, I will be back. Okay, so to get started with this, once it's installed, you just double click here on your projects folders and then it'll come up. It takes a little while. And here we are in the project. And I have to say it's a little intimidating in here. There's some really quirky things about this setup and I don't know. What you can do is if you're not in play, you can just WASD and kind of fly around. It's a pretty barren landscape here. And the main asset really is this temple. So if you like this temple, this is one asset you could potentially export because it looks like they put a lot of thought into the design of this. There's some nice details in this temple. So if you need a temple, look no further than this. As far as the landscape goes, I don't really see anything that, uh, in fact, it looks kind of weird, like how it doesn't really blend. But that's not where our focus is going to be. Our focus is always on, it's going to be on the characters here. When you hit play, what's weird is that you're kind of frozen. You can pivot around here, but you can't really move. The WASD keys don't work. And you'll see these two circles, which are kind of distracting, and those are touch controllers. So to get rid of those, we'll hit escape. We'll go to our project settings, and we'll search for touch. And if we come down here, it says always show touch interface. We just check that off, and those go away. Now, the main thing you might want to do is just explore the actual video. There's two things that really stood out to, to me on this. And one is the use of levels in here. They, they did an extensive use of levels. And this would be an example of them using levels for multiple artists working on different parts of the project. So if we come in here to Slay, and I believe we go to Temple here double click here you'll see this temple underscore p and that's the level we're in right now this is the master level where all the sub levels are and if we come over here since it's the master and if we go up, come up to window and we go to levels and dock this here you'll see all the levels that we we have here we're on the persistent level, but there's a level for characters. There's a level for temp the tempo, I believe. So if we turn all these off, except for tempo, you have to go into unlit to see around. It's just the tempo in this one level. And then there's a level just for lighting. There's a level just for terrain. And then this one is for like off in the distance kind of terrain. It makes the terrain more rocky. And then there's a level just for our characters. And then there's our persistent level here. And so that's real interesting if you're interested in levels and how you would work with levels. I just did a tutorial about, about this, about levels and how you would use them. And this is an example of how you would use them. And then if we go into sequences and there is TF and I have no idea what TF stands for, but this is the master sequence of the whole thing. So if we double click into this, it's kind of a master class of using the sequencer. Now, some people would put their entire project together in a sequencer, but what other people do is just render out each one of these shots and then just put it all together in a, an editing program. You don't have to put your project in here, but if you were, this is how you would you would put it together and it's kind of cool how they used two shot tracks and then they just alternated between so it makes it real easy to see and then if you want to see this thing 
you just click at it and I guess we can go back to lit here and you just hit play and it plays the whole the whole the whole sequence and what's cool about this I won't play the whole the whole thing but that's pretty cool and then if you want to render it you just click here they already have it set up to render out and you just click render local and it'll render local and you can go into the config file and see how they configured everything in here so there's that and if you're if you don't want to use the movie render queue you don't you don't have to you could come over here and click here and just switch to the legacy and then just record out as a an AVI file I did that a few times it's a, a little bit faster they see we get this warning about directional lights and stuff but it it actually selects the one based on the overall scene brightness this is another thing that's kind of impressive about this so what they did was these are all the shots in the entire project so I don't know how many folders this is but this is every single shot and then every shot is they have the same methodology for the whole thing for all these shots so you see how many shots you can, so that's what's impressive is a lot of work went into this I, I would be curious to know how much time this actually took but I would imagine this was a two or three month project so and then they have a level sequence just for lighting and then they have a level sequence so if you click in this one it shows you how they did everything and then they pulled in that subsequence for the lighting and but they use this same the same structure and then so they have a folder for animations a folder for materials and then the main level sequence and then whatever a lighting sequence and everyone is like that so then they'll have the main sequence the lighting a VFX sequence so they keep everything organized this way it's an incredibly well organized project it's it's a master class in organizing what's interesting is too this whole thing is only it's only about 70 seconds long and I thought they did a fantastic job with it the sound in here is incredible